Hey, what's going on? Good morning. It's about 6.10 and I got myself a good five hours sleep and popped out of bed. So I'm going to do a little running around, go home, upload these videos and go back to sleep. It's uh, still kind of warm. Even at 6.10, I'm, I'm in the Asok area. I was going to jump on the train and a motorbike pulled up with nothing to do. And I said, hey, you know, I'll give you 60 baht, run me up there. And he's absolutely, let's go. So I'm on Soy 14 and the sun will come up soon. I'm going to head up the way here and show you the sights. And directly across the street is Terminal 21. And of course, this is a Soak BTS. You'll find Sokomvit MRT Junction right there below 21. But we're on the other side of the street on the even side. Soy 14. And the Solaria Hotel. If you want to stay in this Asok area, it's a great choice. And I'm not sure what this... Uh, food stand is called. It's in Thai. Well, actually, is it Suda? S-U-D-A? But this is a really great spot. I'll stop in here often. Oh, I thought it was open later. Open 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Closed on Sunday. Okay, fair enough. Take a rest. And also up this little side soy is a laundry service. It's always good to know where those are at. My friends just came in town from California and, uh, they were asking me, where can we get our laundry done, you know, by the kilogram? And I didn't have an answer. I just don't pay attention. I, I told them they'd come use my washing machine, but then they got to hang it out to dry. And they wanted a, a wash and dry. So here you go. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., one kilogram, 100 baht. That's certainly going to be cheaper than... Uh, Hotel laundry service, even in Bangkok, they're gonna charge you whatever it is, 80 baht a shirt. So we're back on 14 and here's the uh, Villa 14 condo complex. And there's a little side soy down the way. Um, I've been up there. I think there's one more little hotel tucked away. Let me go check it out. Yes, I was correct. It's the 14 place apartment. And it looks like these ladies are heading to the airport. I know it's still kind of dark, but I wanted to get an early start today. This looks to be smaller units, but you can't get a more central location. This Asok, Sukhumvit uh, area, very, very popular. Terminal 21 and the trains. I'm not sure what else is down here. I think zero, but let's take the time to look. Yeah, it's just a little private compound, some uh, private homes, maybe a business. And the side of the parking garage, just going by memory, that is the Grand Sheraton parking garage. But I'm not positive. Oh, a couple of bats just flew over my head. I think they were bats, probably just birds. And as the sun's coming up, I'm not sure if you can see this. Small swimming pool here at the 14th, but enough to cool down. Back on to Main 14. We're back at uh, Villa 14, or or my Mexican heritage likes to say Via 14, just like the Via Market. But I know I'm going to lose that battle. There's a security guard over here doing a little sweeping. I could probably walk in here, but he might be a little concerned. He knows I'm not a resident, so I'm not going to I'm not going to be intrusive. But you can see just by the size of the windows, these are larger size units, and that close feet from the BTS and Terminal 21 is going to increase your rent. You can still find some affordable units. The last time I did some condo shopping was seven months ago and I saw some buildings. I think it was on this 14. Here's the Bond Sukhumvit 14. Now you can see these are smaller. So if you're okay, and I am, with a small unit, say 30 square meter or hey sometimes you'll find 27 square meter studios i personally would pay the extra 150 dollars or you know maybe 200 to have the one bedroom but oftentimes the one bedroom is just a sliding door in between the living room and uh, the uh, bed area in that case without that sliding door if you're going to save $150 and I'm making these numbers up, so be it. Just, just to be in the part of town you want to be in. And this is the, ooh, Le, Le, Le Cote. I don't know what, how you pronounce that, if it's French or whatnot. So, Gambit 14. 
These are all, I'll call them low rises. It looks like there might be a pool or something on the roof. But what I was getting at was the last time I did a little condo shopping, I know I saw some places for, I want to say 18,000 baht. I know that's still real money, but it's not all 40 and 50,000 baht in the Asok area. If you go smaller, you can still find some deals. If you need 120 square meters, well, yeah, you're going to be paying 70, 80, 90,000 baht. For myself personally, I need to watch myself get out of that U.S. or Western mindset. You might be from the U.K. or, or Sydney or some part of Europe where you're saying to yourself, Hey, 70,000 bots, really not a lot of money. And, and it's really not in the big scheme of things. That's average rent in a lot of places in the world. But personally, I came over here to retire and live affordably and spend my money in hotels, traveling, eating out anytime I want, that kind of thing. If your main concern is a big, beautiful apartment and you're going to be in that apartment 80% of the time, we'll spend your money there. That's, that's not really my thing. I've lived on sailboats over the years. I don't need a lot of space. I'm more about uh, going out to my life more than my home being my life, but maybe I'm a little unusual. And just some private homes, but we are coming up to the Red Planet Hotel, very close to Terminal 21, and check it out on Agoda. You might find a good deal. You can quite easily spend $250 or more on hotel rooms in this area so even this red planet and I'm making all these numbers up it, it might still be pushing $100 but that might totally be worth it for a 10 day stay or whatnot to be exactly in the heart of tourist central here and, and this terminal 21 area is just that and I've walked through here dozens of times I never noticed the custom carpets business at obviously somebody's home right across from Red Planet. And don't, uh, don't hold those prices to me. I have no idea how much this Red Planet is. If you look it up and it says it's $129, uh, hey, you were way off base, it's $129. I have no idea. I'm just telling you this is going to be a little bit more affordable than the uh, Grand Sheraton or uh, whatever that fancy hotel is over by Terminal 21. Those are going to be top of the line. And as if you, you see the SF Cinema sign, that's on the side of Terminal 21. And the BTS train, if one comes by, is right in between. Next door is the Coach Hotel. I've actually uh, made a couple of pit stops in the lobby here over the years. They have a... If this is the place I'm thinking of... No, actually the place I'm thinking of is up on uh, Soy 12... But many of these hotels, as you're walking around, they do not make that big of a deal of just walking into the lobby and using the restroom. It's not like in California, anyhow, it's almost takes an act of Congress to uh, use a restroom anywhere. And I, and I couldn't understand it. I mean, unfortunately, my state that I love so much, somebody might go into that restroom and just set up shop for a while and lock the door and never come out for the next five hours. There's some unusual things going on. So they have to be a little bit more protective of the property where over here in Bangkok, the vibe's kind of, hey, if you have to go, you have to go. And uh, please be our guest and maybe consider our hotel at some point. And I like the... Uh, the knockers here on uh, this guy's garage door. Little little touch of art on his home. And a few more, I guess they're little personal home compounds. It looks like there might be like three little homes behind this gate. But it's certainly not a hotel or anything like that. This just looks like one beautiful home. And we'll continue down the way. Now, unfortunately, on this Soy 14... I'm just going by memory. It might take a left. I can't remember, but I think it dead ends. If you see that building straight ahead, if that were not there, you would be at Bencha Kitty Park. I think it's Soy 10 that you can walk through. In this 14, what you would have to do is uh, go back to Sukhumvit, kind of go around, go around these buildings, and where you see that building popping up, on the other side of, uh, what is that, Rechapisik? 
you'll find Benja Kitty Park. Beautiful, beautiful greenery right in the middle of the city. I'll put a link to a description of a video I made on the park. You can check it out. And more personal homes on both sides of the Soy 14 down towards the end here. And you learn something every day. There's a little sign here. It says opening time 6 to 2000, which is 8 p.m. So I see a padlock on the door, but it's open right now. Some folks just walked in with their dog. So I don't know if this little private business just kind of allows the locals to slip through. I'm going to walk through, and I assume it's going to pop out right there by the park. But we'll check it out once again. We are at the very end of Soy 14, which is not a long soy. But that's good to know that there is a little local secret, which I'm now sharing with you. Just be respectful of it and, and cut through there and you're right at uh, Bench of Kitty Park, or you should be. Yeah, it kind of popped out on this little trail, but here we are. And forgive me, it is six something in the morning. I think I'm on Ratchapisic. And right there, we just see those cars turning in. That is Bench of Kitty Park. And also, when we make our way through that little shortcut, you'll find the walk bridge to get over to the other side and I can't see what that says uh, the name of that building but on the other side of that building right there would be soy 16 and just not even up the way you can see the exchange tower oh shoot there goes my water <laughs> oh well that was stupid I kicked my water um, if you go just up to where that exchange tower is you'll be on the corner of Sukhumvit and uh, Ratchapisic and that is where I snuck through. It's just 10 feet. It's, it's a little uh, rustic, let's put it that way. You're kind of walking on the side of uh, what appear to be some boilers or something like that. There's also a little trail that uh, goes down the way. I don't think it's really made. This is kind of stagnant water. I don't think it's really made for walking as much as uh, servicing the Klong here or whatnot but I think I'm gonna walk over here and take uh, show you a quick peek at uh, Benja Kitty Park. On the other side, that building is called the Lakes. And this is some expensive real estate overlooking the convention center and the park. Just short way, way off in the distance, you probably can't see it, is Med Park Hospital, beautiful facility. And Queen Circuit Convention Center is right on the park. And there's the million dollar look, heading down towards Sukhumvit and the corner of Sukhumvit and Ratchapizik. You can just kind of catch out uh, sight of the BTS there, leaving a soak and heading towards Prom Pong, my home stomping grounds. As we look down the way, the convention center is down on the right, and this is the main entrance to Bencha Kitty Park, gate one. And there you go, open from 5 to 9 p.m. And as much as I am not a morning person, it is kind of cool to be out here uh, when it's less hot. A little bit hazy this morning, but you can see the man-made water feature. And the different uh, running trails. There's actually a little bit of uh, spring or texture. Yeah, not so much. I, up here, I think where it's a different color, is that greenish? I'm colorblind. It uh, has a little spring to help in uh, take care of your ankles running. And that's the convention center straight across the way, that whatever it is, four-story building. You'll, to the left, you'll find the MRT, Queen Circuit MRT station. City's coming alive. Many people out here enjoying a nice jog, uh, something you really wouldn't want to do at... Uh, 12 noon here in Bangkok. It's hot enough right now. I don't know. I'm going to guess uh, 70 degrees, 72 Fahrenheit. I know that's not hot, but it is 6.15, 6.20 in the morning. Now, beyond these trees, the park is as, as large as this water feature, maybe even larger off in that direction. It has a beautiful skywalk that goes above the marshes and, and little wildlife protected areas. And then off in this direction, you'll find the Green Mile. It's not much to look at, but it is a connection about a kilometer long that'll get you over to Lumpini Park. And they do have the Benja Kitty Dog Park. 
Bangkok is not as super dog friendly on the parks as a lot of the world. Ben Chisiri Park over in Prom Pong just allows guide dogs only. And here in the uh, dog park, I think you still need to keep your dog on a leash, I think. When I think dog park, in California anyhow, it's just a place to let the dogs run crazy <laughs> if your dog's sociable anyhow. It's usually just dog beach where the dogs are running on the sand or dog park. But let me double check on the rules here. All right, this is just explaining the park. It says Benja Kitty is 180 acres. Um, she graciously presided over its opening, the Queen Mother, on 5 December 2004. In 2016, the Treasury Department, along with the Rail Tar Thai Army, repurposed the rest of the tobacco factory grounds to create an ecological forest park in the heart of the metropolis. That's cool. I know over towards the end of Soy 4, there's still some, I'll call them, tobacco drying sheds and they've repurposed into basketball, volleyball, pickleball courts. And I don't think I've uh, I don't think I've been through the dog park. Let me go back outside and get the rules, but I see everybody with their dogs on leashes. So I'm going to guess it's not a free for all. Still, cool place to bring the dog. I'm not sure about Lumpini. I've only been in there a half dozen times and I don't recall seeing a dog park. You'd think there would be, but I'm not positive. I said it before, there is not a dog park at the smaller Benchisiri and Prom Pong. Okay, so there you go. Dogs must be licensed, have up-to-date rabies. Owners must keep an eye on their dog, not to harm other dogs, uh, and leashed at all times. So not quite as uh, an open shot as a lot of dog parks, but it's better than, better than nothing. And in the other part of the park, I think it's uh, guide dogs only. And if you keep your eyes peeled in uh, any of these water features around, there are plenty of monitor lizards running around Benja Kitty and Lumpini Park. And I've seen some big ones. I've seen some uh, at least three foot monitor lizards swimming around. And there's all kinds of different signs in Thai and English for some of the folks that like to comment online about they don't speak English in Thailand and on and on. Yeah, I, I really don't find that to be the case, but all right. Uh, think what you want to think, but a lot of these signs will explain the different uh, ecological programs happening in the park. And it's just nice to have this green lung in the middle of the city. I'm sure it helps uh, with the pollution issues. And maybe it's at a level I can't hear, but here's the dog relaxing music area. Maybe it's those uh, high-pitched sounds only dogs can hear. I don't hear anything unless the music is uh, not on just yet. And there's all kinds of cool little paths to explore. With your dog. Yeah, come on out to Benja Kitty. Lumpini, but I like Benja Kitty better. Lumpini's nice, but luckily I have uh, I have this park closer to my home. I probably shouldn't be walking off the trail here, but I was trying to see if I see any bubbling from monitor lizards. Yeah, and I don't mean to be preachy about the uh, English and Thailand and all. I just watch a lot of YouTube. I, uh, for whatever reason, I, I, the a lot of the guys in the Philippines, they just will state it over and over that, yeah, Thailand, the infrastructure is maybe better than the Philippines and all, but I just can't get past that uh, they don't speak any English in Thailand and it would be hard to communicate compared to the Philippines where everybody speaks perfect English. I find just the opposite to be true. I've, I've been to the Philippines now a dozen times. I was just there recently and uh, I just heard a lot more Tagalog than I did English, where in Thailand, kind of just the opposite. It's uh, Now, granted, I'm hanging out in the expat areas. If I were up in the country in Isan, yeah, you better brush up on your Thai. But here in Bangkok, I was out at an event last night and there must have been 50 Thais there, along with a bunch of expats. And um, most of them spoke better English than uh, most of us expats, that's for sure.
So it's good to see dozens of people out here with the dogs, possibly dog walkers as, as well, or uh, people that you pay to bring your dog to the park. I don't know. Personally, if I had a dog over here, I'd, I'd really enjoy bringing my dog down to the park, but other people are, uh, are very busy, and I'm sure that's an affordable option when uh, labor rates are just so much cheaper over here in Thailand. Hire somebody to walk the dog every day. That's great. And I'm sorry I think I struck out on uh, trying to find you a monitor lizard this morning. I, I will, once again, link that uh, one video that I, I think it was right over here. I caught a huge monitor lizard kind of coming out of the water. That right there where you see that uh, motorcycle coming in is the end of Soy 10. I came in on the end of Soy 14 and where Soy 12 over here somewhere will hit the park there's no bridge over this little water structure. The only reason I was able to snake through on 14 was it uh, kind of snaked out onto Rachapisic there. And I think the owner of that property is just being a good guy and uh, allowing the public to walk by the side of his building from whatever it was, 6 to 9 p.m. anyhow. Just being a good neighbor. And here's one final peek at the dog park. There are a lot of uh, mosquitoes out early right now. I, I never put on mosquito repellent or anything. Maybe I should, but it's just not an issue for me. I, uh, I don't get bit, and I haven't been bit today, but I'm brushing them off of me. And once again, this is the dog park. Over here is the large parking lot. And as far as you can see, well, not as far as you can see, but a huge area of... Uh, park and then once again off in that direction you can connect on the green mile which starts right here all the way to lumpini park and here's the little bridge not really designed for cars anymore maybe back in the day uh, but a motorbike was let through that little gate area down there and here is the beginning or end however you want to look at it of the green mile again not the uh not the greatest view, I guess, but it will get you from here to Lumpini in about a kilometer. And not the greatest water in the world, that's for sure. It's more for rain collection and that kind of thing. And I'm, once again, I've been standing here for about five minutes, no signs of any monitor lizard. So I apologize for that. And thanks for following along this little walk down Soy 14 into the dog park at Benji Kitty. Consider following along on the channel for more looks around Bangkok. Have a great morning.